Somehow the word artist has a different meaning for me. Freshman is uh, you have the skill to make something better than most people. You are specializing in that one thing. I like to be a craftsman more than the artist. いらっしゃいませ。I went to the art school here in DC, and I did a lot of paintings, uh, sculpting. I like to build things uh, with my own hands. This is uh, the koji that I made it uh, last week. It has a very sweet flavor. Oh, so good! Yeah. Right now, this salmon is super salty. It's been salted for two days after marinating. Into koji for at least three days, and uh, the sweetness of the koji um, gets into this salmon, and uh, it makes a really, really fantastic dish. When I went to Japan and I trained in a sushi restaurant for three years, there was so much to learn. At that point, I didn't think it was uh, there's any relation between uh, cooking and art. But once you start Making menu or creating any dish, that creative process is actually uh, exactly the same as uh, any of the, the art. The knife skill for the Japanese cook, especially, it's uh, very much related to line drawing. Eye and hand coordination is a very important thing. That can be only achieved through the repetition of the sketching and the drawing lines on the paper, you know, thousands of times, and slowly it becomes part of you. It's exactly the same with the knife. It's a wild bluefin tuna. The tuna uh, preparation that we do here is not normal, I would say. It's more like a similar process as a charcuterie. Salted first and air dried. So we have a uh, dried tomato. This is from uh, Italy. It absorbs more of the tuna moisture and uh, then bring out the tomato flavor into the tuna. And I use uh, the inside part of the dried tomato. I would say uh, after a month, it, it starts to really develop the flavor. We, we've done it more than like 60 days, and uh, it, it's still good. It turned out to be this dog. Yeah, not very appealing, <laughs> for sure. Uh, but the taste is uh, quite awesome. So. Not just here, but in Japan, crab is always very, very popular. We use uh, Atlantic deep sea red crab, which is not very popularly known here, uh, even though it's uh, locally sourced. So we started using uh, like, you know, five, six years ago, and uh, we just really love the, the flavor, the looks of it. You know, like everything else, we, we like to be unique, and the, the red crab just fit that bill. They, they have to be alive before uh, it's cooked because uh, once they die, uh, the enzyme inside uh, their bodies start to disintegrate. So if you have the crab that is dead for a day and uh, you steam it exactly the same as uh, the live crab, you get the different result. The meat is very mushy, doesn't have the flavor. Uh, that's why we like to use uh, live crab. Sushi Taro has been here for 33 years. I still get really nervous. I think that's a good thing for us that we always still concentrate and the focus on the each customer every night. Sashimi style of the turtle liver. Snapping turtle soup. This dish is koji 
pickled salted salmon and the daikon radish. This dish is a red crab leg that's marinated in jalapeno infused soy sauce, sashimi style. Tomato cured dry aged tuna with basil oil, a little bit of salt, and a crushed dry tomato. This is Japanese traditional osechi style box. I hate to say creating art because it's more like of a craft. Atlantic deep sea red crab, steamed meat, put it back in the shell with uh, its own mustard sauce underneath and topped with uh, Mitsuba leaf. Sayori, half beak, or the Japanese needlefish. Japanese saba, cured with salt and sugar, and then pickled in vinegar lightly. Otoro, from the North Carolina, wild bluefin tuna. My father always uh, said that don't be an artist if you are running a restaurant. Santa Barbara, California sea urchin topped with Hawaiian black salt and wasabi. But you know, you can always do both things at the same time as long as the customer accepts that way. <laughs>